Don't waste time on an exam using the more complicated quotient rule here because there's a faster method. When I see a fraction like this that has x minus 2 on the bottom, I first check to see if it's a factor that can also be canceled from the numerator. Now, x cubed minus 8 is interesting because I can rewrite that as x cubed minus 2 cubed. And a difference of 2 cubes, as we know, will factor really nicely because here when you factor it to x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 4, voila! x minus 2 can be knocked out of the top and the bottom, right? Well, there is a catch. You'll have to stick around until the end of the video and comment below if you actually see it. But I'm going to go ahead and cancel them now because now instead of using the quotient rule, there's no fraction, right? We'll just use the product rule where you take the derivative of this left expression times the right plus the derivative now of the right times the left. And so when you simplify things further after taking the derivative, you'll end up with this expression where we can combine terms. And this is pretty simple to do. But did you catch the thing I pointed out earlier about what happens when you cancel the top and the bottom where you had x minus 2? There is a domain restriction. In the original function, you had discontinuity at x equals 2 because you can't divide by 0, which means that for our final answer here,